Star Trek is pure escapism. What drew me to it was a tough adolescence. I would sit in front of the TV for hours by myself becoming immersed in the Star Trek universe. Because I moved around a lot it was the only consistency that I had. Star Trek was always there. I looked at the cool logical Spock as a role model. He wasn't phased by anything. He was a bit of an outcast, and I related to that because I was still in the closet. I wanted to be like Spock. I wanted to have control. My name is Ricky Didham, and I'm the organizer of the Star Trek fan club here in Auckland. The club has been around for over 10 years. We have a Facebook page, Star Trek Fan Clubs New Zealand, and an Instagram account by the same name, and we've recently opened it up on Meetup. We are constantly searching for new life to join our little community for screenings, barbecues, dinners, and the odd party now and then, so we can go boldly where no man has gone before. The core of the Vulcan philosophy is EDIC, which stands for Infinite Diversity and Infinite Combinations. It's a philosophy of tolerance and inclusion that is a Star Trek Earth of the future united in peace. It's a hard philosophy to put into practice at times, especially when we're deciding which Star Trek series to watch. Being a part of the Star Trek club has introduced me to a lot of people from all walks of life, people who I might not have met otherwise, and many of them have become like family to me. It's ironic that our watching Star Trek used to be an introverted singular activity, but has now become a way for us to socialize and unite over our common love for the show. Star Trek episodes are often topical, and we discuss how the themes relate to everyday issues such as racism, global warming, feminism, greed, and justice, and as a result we often end up in heated debates surrounding these ideas. But in the end, what it's really all about is just getting together, having a laugh and watching the show with some friends. When it comes to phones, we're definitely ahead of what Star Trek predicted technology-wise. But socially, it could be said that we're moving away from embracing diversity. In the 1960s, there was not one letter of complaint about having minorities in chief roles in the control room of the Enterprise. Nor was there when Star Trek showed the first ever interracial kiss on network TV. But in 2020, the complaint letters are flying in, all because they are showing that gay people actually exist in the future. I hope that the future for humanity will be more like the united earth that Star Trek portrays. A world without war, poverty or disease. A world where everybody truly does live long and prosper.